Hi lovely people, this is Chandi Singh and welcome back to my channel and thank you for so much love. Uh, of late I've, I've had so many new subscribers and so many new followers on Instagram and I feel absolutely humbled by your love and by your comments. And today I'm going to share my review about the much talked about Huda Beauty Desertus palette, her new foundation, primer and the brush. So uh, these were launched very very recently and I got uh, hands on all of them, all together in fact. And uh, so I only managed to kind of uh, order the shade that is meant for me and I got the shade Amarelli. Though I could have even done with a shade darker than this but I wasn't sure because my friend was picking it up for me and she and I were on a WhatsApp call while she was showing me swatches and Amarelli is at that point that seemed okay. It works well for me, but I could have done with the shade darker. And I assume the shade darker than this is Baklava. I could be wrong. I or if there is a shade between Amarelli and Baklava, is the color that I would like to own. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Cream Makeup Base. So I really, really like the product, and uh, I really like the packaging also. I like the fact that there is a pump, so there's no wastage of product at all. And uh, you know, usually I go with one pump of this uh, product and it's really moisturizing. However, I did a comparison of it with my Smashbox primer, which is one of my top favorite primers. And I thought this was really, really moisturizing also and it really evened out the skin tone in a very nice way. And it really gives you a nice sheen to the complexion. It's beautiful, the makeup sits beautifully on it. Next product that I'm going to talk about is the Huda Beauty Buff and Blend Face Brush. And uh, what I really want to mention about is that I have been using the Sigma F80 and the F88 Kabuki brushes for the longest time. And this brush beats them hollow. Absolutely love the way the brush is angled, still not very, very angled. Love how dense it is, love the length of the bristle. And when I kind of buff it onto the skin, if you see that the bristle is kind of moving, like in a way, you know, in a circular motion. However, when I do that with, the, with my Sigma brushes, I have to kind of stay on the surface of the skin. So I can't really buff it. Like I have, like with this, I can achieve it in one go. With that, I, I have to do it twice to kind of achieve the same feel. Absolutely love it, worth an investment. And the next product that I'm gonna talk about is the Huda Beauty Pore Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. And the shade I got was Amoretti. And to be very honest, I find this a little light on myself. However, I mean, not too light also because I usually like to stick to my skin tone on a very raw shade darker. Or I would say this is actually just my skin tone. I always prefer going a little bit darker. And I just, I chose this color on a WhatsApp call with a friend of mine who was coming from Dubai. So, um, and the moment she got it, I used it the very same day and I've used it now at least five, six times. And it's only once I kind of try a product five, six times that I will give my review out. So I used it on a client of mine I also used it on a couple of friends of mine who were my skin tone and I also used it in my professional makeup class. Now guys, the thing I want to tell you is that my professional makeup class is the learning ground, not only for me, but even for my students. So we are like constantly doing half and half, you know, where I'll do like a half Smashbox primer and a half Elegal primer, we do as, um, you know, I'll do a hangover primer with a whatever like we just keep doing product comparisons and the model of the day usually never removes her makeup until end of the day and she gives feedback that this side of the face looks better blah 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 so that's how i learn a lot about my products because i get a lot of first-hand information from the person who has the makeup and they give me details about it they'll send me selfies and everything right so the day i got this during my last professional makeup course and uh, I personally find the texture of this foundation and Kat Von D Locket foundation very, very similar. They both are very matte, very thick and full coverage, right? And uh, if you uh, heard my last review about Kat Von D foundations, yes, I love those foundations. So yes, I won't deny that Huda is good. However, I did a comparison in my professional makeup course between a Kat Von D and a Huda and I personally found Kat Von D to be much better. 
In fact, the model we had was a gorgeous girl from my class who did not, who had great skin like in terms of no acne. She just had a few lines around her eye and very slight texture around her cheek area. So all I wanted to say is that on one side of the face where we had used the Huda Primer with the Huda Foundation and on the other side I had used a Smashbox Primer with the Kat Von D Foundation, the skin, the skin seemed relatively cleaner. In fact, the lines were a lot more on the Huda side than on the uh, Kat Von D side and even the texture of the skin showed out a lot more on the, on the Huda Foundation. So, of course, um, I mean, because I saw it absolutely in front of my eyes, I'll just say that I prefer Kat Von D. I'm not saying these are bad. However, I would still recommend that if you have a very dry skin, I've left my tips about how to use a matte full coverage foundation on dry skin or any skin in my previous video where I have reviewed the Kat Von D foundations. Do look it up. So, all in all, a good foundation, but... I mean, I mean it will cover everything, but it will show a lot of texture and create a lot of lines too. So give it a thought before you pick it up. And uh, last night, uh, in fact, I just realized that I also have the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette. So I'm going to review this after I review the Huda Desert Dust Palette. So I won't deny that when I got the Rose Gold Palette first, I'm not a big fan of it. In fact, I don't like the shimmery colors. I've used the shimmery colors with everything. With Duraline, with Fix Plus, with whatever fixing mediums you can think of. And I personally feel that they cracked. I love the matte colors in her previous uh, palette and that's what I've mostly used. I know they say finger application is great, but no, I do not like to do a finger application. I prefer doing it with brushes because I feel brush brushes give you better precision on the eyes, right? So when I got myself the Huda Beauty, I was not very sure, but I won't deny that I'm absolutely in love with this palette, right? So I have more or less used all the colors. Yes, I've, in fact, the only color so far I've not used is Cosmo. I have used it, but I've not used it on a client or on my lids, you know. I tried it in, on my, in my studio, on my stuff and everything to have a feel of it. And I quite like it. I think it's very, very glamorous, right? And I love all, all the other colors. Now, the only thing is that the most raved about colors are the purples. In fact, the purples are the only thing I'm not a big fan of. In fact, I don't even feel the color Twilight is really, really popping. It's nice, but it's, you know, it's like the moment it comes on to the skin, it does not show really. I have tried using it with a damp brush. I've used it with the best of my brushes. So I'm very, very sure that I've used the right technique to it. However, I would say that do not buy this palette because of this, I totally love it. I do miss a black, a black matte eyeshadow in this palette. However, it's okay. They can't be giving you all the colors all the time, right? So I'm just gonna quickly swatch these for you and show it to you as well. And this time I'm gonna swatch them with my brush so that you get to know the exact texture and color of these shadows. The first color that's coming on is the Desert Sand and it's one of the perfect beige matte eyeshadows a decent uh, brown highlight and uh, I also like to apply it all over the lid just to brighten it up. The next color I'm applying is Musk. It's a cool tone brown and, and this is how Eden looks after two coats and I think it's really really beautiful. The next shade is Amber. It's a gorgeous rust with a red undertone and just to inform you I haven't dampened my brush I'm using it the way it is the shade is called blood moon oh my god guys just look at that like a deep rose gold you can also it has it has peach gold reflects in it absolutely beautiful the next shade is oath and uh, this is in fact, the darkest color in the palette, and it's like a really dark brown, very good for smoking the eyes out. Love it on the lower lash line as well. So, 
don't, the only color I don't like is this one here, otherwise I've used all of them and I love all of them. This color out here is called Celestial. It doesn't come on uh, one go, but yeah, in a couple of uh, strokes it does appear on skin. I prefer it as a topper on top of a darker color eyeshadow or a light color eyeshadow. Prefer it on a darker color eyeshadow. It's beautiful. It's got the most gorgeous pink gold reflect. The out there is Neferi. So these are two coats now and it's beautiful. It's like a sand gold with gold small shimmer particles in it. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. The next color that I'm going to swatch is Twilight and that is one coat. It looks really beautiful here, however, I was really disappointed with the way it looked on the lid. It's a beautiful lilac gold, uh, blue reflect in it. It's quite gorgeous the way it looks. The next color I'm swatching for you is Amethyst. So, quite quite a challenge to get this color on but of course with a little bit of effort you can work around it and it works pretty well with all the colors that are shown previously but to be very honest not a fan of it at all she here is royal and I absolutely love this purple in fact I'm not a huge fan of purples otherwise and I own a few but this one is absolutely exquisite the next shade here is Retro Grey and I absolutely love it. So it's like the perfect blue brown with blue of course being the most striking color. Absolutely looks gorgeous on darker color lids as a topper. The most beautiful nude color in this palette. Gorgeous love. It's, it's got a little pink undertone to it. It's absolutely stunning. The next shade right here is Angelic, the most perfect peachy, sorry, pinky gold. Beautiful. Look at that. And the color that I've not used yet on the lids, but I have used it. Otherwise, is this gorgeous Cosmo. And uh, oh my god, it's so glittery. Love the chunky particle in it. If you're somebody who loves it all glam, you are going to love this. I quite like it. It's got the most gorgeous pink, lala, copper, orange reflect to it. And of course, do I need to say that I'm going to prefer this as a top? And this gorgeous cranberry pink is called Turkish Delight. And do I need to say I love it? In fact, I have used these two colors the most in my palette right now. And I absolutely love the most gorgeous looking pink. And in fact, even Cosmo as a topper that looks absolutely stunning. And this color is the perfect matte. It's called Saffron. It's uh, it is pink, and yet it has a little orange undertone to it. And uh, it's very nice. I've used it a few times, and I quite like it. And the last shade in this palette is called Amazing. It's the most uh, perfect orange rust and it's just a little bit lighter than that one quite like it in the trunk so firstly i'm just going to swatch all these colors for you the huda beauty summer highlighter palette and uh, this i'm doing with my fingertips so this is a perfect gold cream highlighter right and it looks quite lovely on our even complexion is quite nice in texture in fact the idea about giving this is that you know that you can actually use this as the base to all of them as well and you can use that individually as well so uh, the, this color is called Saint Tropez and I quite like it the next shade that I'm swatching for you is Malibu this is in fact uh, my preferred highlighter I love those highlighters which are just like a skin tone you know which kind of pop but they still don't show as if you're wearing too much and uh, of course if you kind of go ahead and swatch it with another sh uh, layer it brightens up a lot more and the next color is Copacabana which is a gorgeous highlighter 
but uh, I'll be using this as a blusher as well. In fact, right now, in this video, this is the blush I'm wearing with a little bit of Micronos and it has a gorgeous violet blue undertone to it, which I absolutely love because it's so different. And this color right here is called Micronos. So, love it. I've been using it as a blusher and I've used it as an eyeshadow as well. It's got the most gorgeous blue reflect to it. It looks pretty purple also in a lot of uh, ways and uh, it's so interesting to be worn on the cheeks. So guys, if you ask me, is this really good? Yes, I absolutely love it. In fact, uh, you know, I'm not a, a big fan of this gold out here. I wish it was a powder form. However, it's okay. I mean, if you kind of use Malibu on top of that gold, it looks really, really gorgeous. So you can mix and match and you can do a lot with this palette. But what I really, really like in these this palette are these two colors because they're so unusual and not too many brands offer you know like that blue violet undertone to a blush or a highlight which is quite gorgeous you know I'm not somebody who uses a unicorn highlighter but I'm so surprised that I really really like it in fact uh, this is the blush I'm wearing today with a lot more of uh, with a lot more of Copacabana and a little bit of Mykonos you know tapped into my brush so the reviews are Desert Dusk palette. Yes, I love. I love this as well. I love her buffing brush. Where did it go? Right here. I love her buffing brush. It's brilliant. I'm not so big on the primer. I still prefer my Smashbox primer. And yes, coming back to the foundations, I'll use better. So uh, I hope you like my review. I mean, it's a personal opinion, absolutely. I know there are a lot of people who are raving about it. I'm not saying, I mean, you know, every person has their own uh, judgment about a product. And this is what I feel. So, um, but I, at the same time, I just want to say that I usually try and stray, stay genuine to all my reviews. And also, I have not, these have not been sent to me. I have bought them with my own money. So it's not that, you know, I'm kind of reviewing it for somebody. I'm reviewing this for my YouTube channel, for my followers. So um, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, follow me soon and uh, keep smiling.